It has been less than two months since deputies say a Nassau County mother crashed into a tree with her two sons in the vehicle. Both boys were killed. The father of those children, Andrew Bird, says they should have never been in Florida in the first place. And he's pushing for legislation so no one else will suffer the same type of loss. Channel 4's Janice Harris talked on the phone with Bird today. Janice. Andrew Bird says he is determined to make sure that this never happens again for any other parent. A tragic loss. Tonight, Andrew Bird, the father of Nikolai and Nehemiah Bird, plans to push for new legislation in Florida and Michigan that will stop parents from taking their children to another state during a custody battle. I'm going to fight in both states to get the laws changed in both states. And ultimately, I, I would hope that it would be a, a federal um, thing that when a custody case has started, you, you can't just take the kids and run. That's not how it's supposed to work. Bird told us he and Tanya Kapalia Bird had been in a custody battle over their three children, including the two boys who died in October in the car crash. The battle going on for years and that he was granted custody of the children in a Michigan court. It was extraordinarily ongoing. They were then, I think going dating back to 2014, had multi-jurisdictional court battles between Michigan and Florida where the same fights were being fought actually in both jurisdictions. In court documents, we found Byrd's parenting time complaint form that says, quote, Tanya took our children to Florida during the custody proceedings in Michigan. We also found an order signed by a Michigan judge on April 27th, 2015, giving custody to the kid's father, Andrew Byrd. September 30th, 2015, a bench warrant was put out for Tanya for not appearing in court. According to Andrew Bird, he and Tanya Kapalia had seen better days together. They met in 2006 in Georgia. You see him there. During that time, they had three children but never married. And in 2009, they moved all the way up here to Michigan, as you see there. Then in 2013, they broke up, and shortly after that, the custody battle began. Reap says the attempt to get a new law isn't unheard of. He says a similar custody battle happened in 2000 with Ileana Gonzalez, a little boy from Cuba. Ultimately, that child was returned to Cuba because that father had been awarded custody there. Similarly, the states in the, in the union are supposed to give full faith and credit to judgments of other decisions that come out of other states. Andrew Bird also told me today by phone that even though he has the custody temporarily of his daughter and he also has the remains of his children that he recently buried, he is still paying child support to Tanya Kapalia Eason, who is now in jail. Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.